What's that? You want some more Breath of the Wild videos? Okay, um... <clears throat> How about 20 fun game mechanics found in Breath of the Wild? Okie doke, my artichokes, let's go. Number one, taming a horse. In prior Zeldas, you were given one steed and a fabulous steed she was. In Breath of the Wild, so long as you can tame it, you can have any horse roaming the field. Just sneak up, mount, and oof! Okay, let's try that again. Once you calm your horse, take it back to the stable, register, and voila! Number two, getting struck by lightning. Perhaps we should rethink the word fun, unless you have sadistic quirks. If it's storming out, you may want to refrain from wearing armor. It will strike and it will hurt. Number three, Octorok Balloons. Fallen Octoroks will drop these Octorok Balloons which have multiple uses. All you gotta do is hold them and place them on objects to use them as a weapon, levitation, or the ability to break the game. Your choice. Number four, chop down trees to cross. If you fall in freezing cold water, you will die in four seconds or less. But if you use an ax and chop down some trees, you can build a bridge. Is there a large gap? Chop down a tree and balance yourself over to where you want to go. Use the environment to your advantage. Number five, Korok Leafs. Remember how much use you got out of that Deku Leaf in Wind Waker? A lot more than you thought you would, huh? Well, Breath of the Wild has an item that is just as similar. These Korok Leafs can knock away annoying enemies and can be used to sail across the sea. Just make sure they don't catch on fire. Number six, you can dye your clothes. Certain clothes can be dyed a different color if you visit the dye shop in Hatno Village. He's a little fickle on which clothes you can dye, but hey, try it out and see what you can get. Number seven, money maker. If you're like me, you sold some of your ancient screws for cash to later realize, damn it, so how the hell do I make cash? Turns out if you're a good cook, folks will pay a pretty rupee for your delicacies. Neat. Number eight, food lore. In Breath of the Wild, when in doubt, use food. Food is good lore for fish, and it can also be used to befriend dogs. Not wolves, dogs. Want a wolf? Use your amiibo. Speaking of amiibo. Number nine, amiibo rewards. But I already did this one. <clears throat> Want a pona? Smash amiibo. Want your green tunic? Amiibo. Want a wolf as a companion? Hell, there's an amiibo for that too. Number 10, use the magnet to bring chess out of the water. Oh, there'd be some buried treasure beneath the surface, Aramaiti. You might want to be using your magnesis to bring her out. Ha ha ha. Number 11, extra inventory slots. You'll notice early on that you'll stock up on weapons in no time and soon you'll be unable to carry any more. How unfortunate. How the hell do I get more slots, you might ask? It's simpler than you might think. What you need are Korok seeds. These are achieved each time you locate a hidden Korok. Give these seeds to Hetsu and you'll be rewarded with some extra slots. There are 900 Korok seeds in total. Have fun! Number 12. Upgrade your armor. If you find that your butt is being handed to you one time too many, then you may want to invest in upgrading your armor via the numerous fairy fountains across Hyrule. Cough up some rupees and one of these lovely ladies will buff up your gear. Number 13. Campfire. You can create a campfire at any time, whether you need to get heat from the chill, need fire to light a torch, or if you just want to rest for a while. All you need is some wood, which you can gather by chopping down trees, some flint for a spark, or even a fire-based weapon like a fire arrow can do the trick. Number 14. Fires create updrafts. If you see a large patch of grass and set it on fire, it will cause a huge gust of wind. You can use this as an updraft for your paraglider. Neat, huh? Number 15. Flame arrows cook meat. Here's a handy little Breath of the Wild life hack. By using a fire arrow on wildlife, you can turn your target into some cooked meat, making it a hearty meal right from the get-go. Number 16. Endora mushrooms. Want to extend your stamina and replenish it while scaling a mountain? All you have to do is add an Endura mushroom to one of your meals. Now you can climb to your heart's content. Number 17. Burn them all. Breath of the Wild is not shy of throwing a multitude of enemies at you at once. If you're invading an enemy camp and would like to lessen their numbers, try lighting the field on fire and let the flames do the dirty work. Number 18. Throwing weapons. Weapon durability is very frustrating. I don't like them in Dark Souls and other games like that, and I'd be lying if I said that I welcome it here. Still, to make the best use out of a weapon that's going to break, just chuck it into your enemy. When your weapon flashes red, hold R and let it fly into your opponent's skull for double damage. Number 19. Elixirs. Okay, so let's cook this frog with some mushrooms and ew. Take two. Let's just add some spicy pepper with the frog. Really? All right, let's just cook the frog. Oh, come on. 
Turns out you gotta use monster parts with these critters to make elixirs instead of food. That's silly. Frog legs are delicious. So if you want to boost your attack, defense, or stealth, then you'll have to crank out some elixirs. Number 20. Shield Surfing It's dangerous, but man is it fun. Shield surfing is one very unique way to travel, but try not to use it too often, especially since it will wear down your shields. All you have to do is hold your shield up, make a run, jump, and hit A to have Link surf down on his shield. If it breaks, it will more often than not launch Link to his death. And there you go. Some fun little tidbits you probably already knew, but just in case you didn't, now you do. Thanks for watching.